Sit back as I break it down. Break it down. Break it down. Baby, sit back as I break it down. Break it down. Break it down. Baby, sit back as I break it down. Break it down. Break it down. Baby, sit back as I break it down. Break it down. Break it down. You can sweat back as I break it down. What is up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of the Philly Cheesesteak Tour. I am your host, Fujisaru. And today, we're doing another kind of touristy place. Um, when I say touristy, because it's definitely known amongst the three as tourist spots, which is Patch Geno's and Jim Steaks on South Street. Jim uh, used to have multiple locations in Philly, but one of them got shut down. For reasons I'm not going to say, but uh, this is uh, on South Street. Ooh, you can feel the grease through the wrapping, which is really good for some people. Um, I, I like it. Uh, here's their size. This is kind of the same size as Jim's, uh, as fucking Pat's and Gino's. So, yeah. So, Jim's, they they're kind of like cooked to order kind of pre-made um when you go in you usually see like their fried onions already being made on the uh, stove and just sit there through time and they just shuffle it around to keep it warm and stuff like that uh usually they're like packed or whatever so they have like multiple steaks going on at once so anytime you just go over you uh, there the cook's already chopping up steak and stuff like that so all you have to do is tell them hey i want such and such such and such cheese steak you guys know me, fried onions, mayonnaise, ketchup. Uh, they did not put ketchup or mayo on my motherfucking thing. So um, I'm going to try it without it because I'm not, I don't feel like putting it on right now. So um, yeah, going to dive into this bad boy right here. Damn, it even soaked the t little tape that they use. There we go. So they did cut it down the middle, like you know how I love, uh, all, almost all the way, which is pretty good. Now, someone corrected me um, off uh, off camera, of course, whatever. Uh, I've been calling this a bun when it should be called a roll, because buns are for cheeseburgers and roll is for a cheesesteak. So uh, it's one mistake, but. Now to grade the roll, um, the grease, most of the grease is on top as per usual. See right there? So, which is pretty good. And again, they put onions on top instead of mixing it in, which you all know is not a fan favorite of mine. So, uh, yeah, but the bun is nice and soft. It's not overpowered by the fucking grease, although the grease is almost everywhere. So, um, we're going for just first bite. Hmm. Eh. Doesn't wow me. Nothing, honestly. It's not really doing much. It's honestly just. It tastes like it's just meat, bun, and cheese, and onion. It's really what it tastes like. Nothing too spectacular. Uh, I'm gonna get another bite to see if I can get this meat and cheese. Man, it's one dry cheesesteak. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, man. Yeah, this, this is a very dry cheesesteak because there's no mayo or ketchup on it. Uh, but the meat to cheese is a... Uh, I give meat to cheese about a three. Because uh, the meat, the cheese melts it on the bread more than it would on the cheese, on the steak. So it's really hard to taste it. So yeah, that, that gets a three for me. Um, overall, I'm going to just give this... I, I, I want to give it a four. Honestly, a four out of ten for the overall cheesesteak. It's not, it's not that good. Um, maybe if they put mayonnaise and ketchup on it, it'd have been a lot better. But for now, this is a uh, definitely a four out of ten cheese. Well, guys, uh, that's it for this cheesesteak. Uh, four out of ten overall. Fucking, I leave all the information on Jim's steaks uh, in the description below, so you guys can try one for yourself. Hopefully, you guys get a better, uh, better cheesesteak than I did. Um, but yeah, peace.